Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks for returning. So in today's video, I'm going to do rank the books <laughs> that I have read lately. So let's get into the video. Let's do it again, but better. Hmm. Oh, probably to the books I would recommend reading it once. Okay, going again, again, but better. I do like the book, especially because I watch Christine Riccio. I do. I love her. Anyway. She's actually the one that I first found with them. Book talk. Okay. Now, let's just do um, this one because this one is my favorite. Okay. This is, I have to say, with the... Uh, Seven Husbands of Ever Evelyn Hugo. Oh my god, I can't say that word. I'm just... That was the best audiobook. Like, I, I felt like that was such a well-produced audiobook. They had like tons of different characters. Yes, it took me a while to get into and like understand like the whole um, the book as a whole, but, um, once, once they got you sucked and they got you sucked in. So, with that being said, definitely recommend reading that one. I love that one so much. And, oh, pause. This is just my opinion, doesn't mean that it's everybody's opinion and yeah so we're gonna just keep going with this one with okay particularly with the ends the ends with us book by Colleen Hoover and you guys have read that one because of TikTok where have you done that? <laughs> but it ends with us, and I'm not going to give it any spoiler free. Or right, this is going to be spoiler free. Um, because of what happens, I am, ugh, or the person that one of the characters become. That's where I am perplexed. I like how one book. Me, it picks up where one book ends. I do like that, and I do like how like. Ah, uh, this is so hard. If you want to read the books, go read them, because I am not doing it justice. Hold on, I'm gonna put them in order because it would bug me throughout the order. No, okay, put them in the with again, but better. <sighs> I use audiobooks because I cannot physically read them. Um, because my, yeah, I'm not gonna get, if you guys have questions about that, let me know and I will fill you in in another video because it's, it's part of the whole CP package for me. So, I have to use audiobooks, which that means that I'm very sometimes limited if the book hasn't come out yet with an audio um, version. 
I would definitely say read again but better, not again but better. It ends with us before you read, um, it starts with us because you would be really confused if you, uh, did it backwards. Uh. All this is easy. I know I'm gonna get so much hate for that one, but along for the ride. I don't like that one. I thought it was dragging for too long, and it could have been like my audio book because back in the day when I was in school, I used Bookshare. If you guys don't know what Bookshare is, it is a um an audiobook that like a computer voice can read to you and they don't really like have any like um expressions voice yeah expression slash reflection in their voice they're just very monotone so it could have been with that reason I don't like it or it could have been like probably both of it it's I find very, like, drag along, no pun intended. No. Okay, I love Nicholas Parks and, um, My favorite is actually, um, it, The Longest Ride, because I like the dual ending, or the dual perspectives, and I just love Ira and Sophie. <laughs> yeah. And... Yeah, I just love all the characters. <laughs> so, definitely, I would definitely read the book before I would watch the movie. You guys haven't seen the, the, the movie. It is very close to the book, which I'm like, thank God, because I don't like movies that are not close to the book or very much or kind of bothers me. So I don't worry if I'm matched because I have mixed feelings about that one. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't like that one because. Okay, I like this one. But. If you guys go on to read, I would skip the other two because I don't. Well, I would skip the the other the second one. I stopped reading it because the characters literally go in circles of each other. Like they literally, um. They catch up to each other and then one of them leaves. And then I'm like, this is so. I would yell at the, at the audio recording. And I get the audio of that. I'm like, no! You. <laughs> it was really bad. And like, so I would just read this one if it were up, if it were up to me because the other two don't do the, this one justice. I love this one. No. Hmm. 
No, I'm probably putting it down there actually. I'm probably going to read it once. It's the selection theory. So yeah. Ugh. I don't know how I feel about the selection theories because now there's a se there's two sequels to it. And yes, I know my glasses are just a little bit gray gray. Um why did they I did not read the sequel the two continuations. And plus I did read this in high school, so it's like five years in my head. Let me just... Okay, this is one of my least favorite Nicholas Brooks ones. Which is, um... Why is this so hard? Okay, okay, let's talk through these. Okay, we have, um, and then the French kiss, which I did like that one, but I haven't read the other books yet, so I can't. Can't tell you which one is my favorite. We have um, the Hating King, which I recently just finished. This is one of my dad's favorites. <gasps> yeah, I would probably recommend that one because where have you been? If you don't know what Walk to Remember is, where are you then? Because it's one of Nicholas Sparks' older books. Okay. Yes, I do love it because I didn't see him on a lot, so. And that way I do love it because I... I did like match, but I'm also putting that in because I read like half the sequel and then gave up because of the circle thing. So, do I put it in, it's a drag, it was a drag to read? Or do I put, would only read it once because for a good reason? Or, do I put it? Probably would only read it once for a good reason. That's what I put it in originally. Okay. Okay, that's good. <sighs> Probably put in and the French kiss in there too. Yeah, once you read in and the French kiss, I love the book and it looked like all of their um whatever the characters, but. You already know what's gonna happen. So it's hard to like get the same feeling over again. Okay, the Delirium series is about a girl. I forget her name. Uh -huh. I'm forget. I know her. The boy. The boy interest is Alex Lyra. Lyra. I want to say. Okay. So Lyra or Lena, whatever you want to call her, is the main character in the. Love is like a disease in their world. So like Alex. 13, 14, they get um, injected with like a, a shot that makes them 
supposedly not feel like any emotion. And yeah, it's, I don't want to say too much because it's going to give, give it away. So that's what I'm going to say, say about that one. Because a lot of what I want to say is going to give a lot of it away. So I don't want to spell it for you, you guys. Or do like the spoiler free. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. And also, keep in mind, if you guys like this video, let me know, and I will do have, um, I will be happy to do, like, what I want to read, like, what to my TBR, and remember to keep on rolling. Okay, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!